How's it going everyone? This is Brett Darian, and in this video, we're going to be swapping out the GD-ROM drive in this Dreamcast. This Dreamcast has been having some trouble reading discs lately, and I tried to fix it myself. There's like a, st uh, there's like a tiny screw like on the back of the GD-ROM drive. I'll show you that in a little bit. And you can kind of turn it, and that might fix the problem if your Dreamcast is having trouble reading discs. But uh, but definitely do that at your own risk because when I did it, I think it just made it worse because now it doesn't read games at all. So definitely be careful if you do that. But anyway, so I got another used GD-ROM drive off eBay because they don't make new ones anymore. And we're just going to take this one out of here and swap the other one in and hopefully that will work. So to do that, we just got to take off this front cover. So there are... Uh, there are four screws you gotta remove from the case. There's a screw here, a screw here, and a screw here. And you also have to take out the modem. And there is a little screw there. Now I have already removed the screws here. So all you have to do then, once you remove the screws, is just lift up the lid and it should just come right off. And now we have access to the drive and now we can remove it. Before I remove the drive though, I just want to show you what problem I'm experiencing. So we'll turn the Dreamcast on and we'll trick the system into thinking the lid's closed. And I don't know if you can hear that, but you can tell it's really straining to read the disc. And it'll eventually just give up. And as you can see here, the disc is not that bad. So it should have no trouble reading it. So we're going to swap this drive out and hopefully the new one works. Okay, so there are three screws that are holding the disk drive in place. There's a screw here, there's a screw here, and there's also a screw up here, right there. So all we have to do is just loosen those screws. There's one. Now we'll go for this one. Okay, that's two. And now we'll go for the one here. Okay, so that's three. So now this drive should just slide right out. Yep, and there it is. That's the GD ROM drive. So this is the laser assembly here. You can t take out this laser assembly and replace it with a PC laser. If, if you're really handy, you can take this laser assembly out and put in a laser from a CD-ROM drive from like the late 90s or early 2000s, and that may also work. So I'm going to actually still keep this drive just in case I decide to do that. But for now though, we're going to put in the replacement drive. And the replacement drive is in this bag right here. And so this is the replacement drive. And you see it looks pretty identical to the other one. It's also a Samsung brand. There were a couple of different brands of GD-ROM drives. But yeah, so of course buying a used GD-ROM drive is risky because you don't know their history, so you don't know if they've been used to read 
burn games, which can shorten the laser life, or how heavily they've been used. So, I mean, all of these GD-ROM drives are going to die one day, so you just, you just don't know how long this one's going to last, but hopefully this will buy me more time. But anyhow, so we just slide this in here, right into place. And you might have to move the plastic around, the plastic shielding from the power supply. But, and make sure it clicks into that port. There you go. So make sure it sits in there. Alright, so now, now we just gotta re screw it in. We can use the same screws that we used from the old drive. Be too tight. And now the third one. Alright, just make sure they're snug. And there you go. So that's it. Simple GD-ROM swap. So now it's tested out. I almost forgot to show you the screw that I tried to adjust to fix the old drive. That screw is right here. It looks like a Phillips head, but it's it's kind of a weird shape. Most screwdrivers won't fit directly into it, but you can kind of use a screwdriver, preferably a very small one. This one's too big. But you can use a small screwdriver to maybe turn that a little bit to the right or a little to the left. That adjusts. I think that adjusts the, the voltage of the drive, of the, of the laser. But again, that did not fix my particular drive. But you can try it on yours if you're having problems. But just keep in mind make very small adjustments to it very small and but it, it, it also may not fix your problem and you might have to either replace the laser or get another another whole drive if you can find one alright so we have the replacement drive in so we'll try booting up the same game And we have success. First time. So very, very good. So this drive swap is successful. It's really, really easy. It's just too bad they're not making new GD-ROM drives. But obviously I think that's impossible. I think that literally is impossible. But this Dreamcast now has new life in it, so I'm very happy about that. Um, but uh, hopefully this drive lasts quite a while. Because um, like I said, there's no telling um, you know, how much this drive has been used in the past. But it is working, so I'm very happy. So I can put the cover back on, and now I can play more Dreamcast games. But anyhow guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been a swap of a GD-ROM Dreamcast drive. Hope it was uh, maybe helpful to you. But again, thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment, leave me a like, and I will see you next time.